All right, here we go. Lay on down, put those hands under your booty, stick the feet out straight, and fix your shirt. No, just kidding. Hold the hollow hold, okay? So this is our hollow hold shape. This is gonna be the basis for most of the moves that we're doing. I actually think all of the moves that we're doing. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. But I want you to just get this shape down, okay? This is one way to do it where you're supporting your lower back. Later on, I will show you how to do a more challenging version but you have the choice to keep it just like we're doing right now. So keep those feet up off the floor, head is up off the floor, and the lower back stays on the ground, okay? If your lower back's coming up off the floor, raise your feet up a little bit higher so that you keep that banana shape that we got going on here. Relax. Take this breather. You will appreciate these 10 seconds, I promise. All right, go ahead, hold that hollow hold again. Now we're lifting our knees into our chest. These are tuck-ups, one version of them, and I'll show you the other version later, but for right now, just keep those hands right, supporting that butt and keeping that lower back on the ground. Pull those knees towards your chest, okay? So keeping that chin up and keeping that head off the ground so you can keep that hollow hold position, but keep moving those feet in and out. The challenge is to not touch the floor with your feet at all, right, until you hear that bell. But, you know, if you need to put your feet down, you need to put your feet down. Try your best not to though, okay? If you need to lift them up into your chest and just give yourself a big hug, you can do that right now, because you've got a break. So take this break. Look at the beautiful birds flying by. And go. All right, we are back. So now it's time for pike ups. Our legs are now straight. Same concept here with lifting with the ab, lower abs, but now our legs are fully extended. So I want you to breathe in, breathe out. When you're lifting the legs closer to you, that's when you want to exhale because you're fully contracting those abs and you wanna get all that air out so you can just breathe, get that strong lift and stay in control of how you're breathing, how your heart rate's feeling and how those abs are doing, okay? This is, this is a mind game too. Every time you work out, you've gotta push past that thing in your body where it's like, why are you doing this to me? Take a break and tell yourself, we're doing it because we're awesome and we want to get super strong. That's why. Or whatever your reasons are. This time, same concept as the pike up. Legs are straight. This time it's a straddle up. So as you come to the top of that lift, you just boop, pull your feet apart a little bit. This is going to help work those inner thighs as well as the lower abs, okay? So pull up and apart. And back down to the hollow hold, up and apart, back down to the hollow hold, keeping that chin up. So this is something that you don't want to over stretch, especially if you're not really warmed up for those center splits. Don't try to flop your feet apart crazy far, okay? Just a little bit apart, pull them back together and let them fall down. The goal here is just to get them up to where you feel like you can go. Don't go past that, because this is not really for flexibility, it's just for those abs. You are almost done with this first round, okay? We're halfway through, we're gonna do some rocks here. So sit on all the way up so we can get that full rounded shape here, just to practice, hit the hands, hit the feet. So, you're gonna kinda fix that there so that you can hit the hands, hit the feet, and be able to rock back and forth. Do not slam your head into the ground, please. That should be something I shouldn't have to say, but you know, figure I'd say it anyways. Rock back and forth, squeezing those abs here, but just letting your body kind of do the work with a little bit of momentum, but you're still engaging those abs because you have to keep that rounded shape. All right, so you go back, get those hands coming up, Keep breathing here, do not hold your breath just because you're engaging your abs. Nice deep breaths, rock it on out. All right, you're halfway through, not so bad, right? 
You can keep doing the versions that we practiced in that first round, but I'm gonna show you how to do something a little bit more challenging if you would like, all right? The way you're gonna do that is instead of having your hands underneath you, you're gonna have them over your head, squeezing your ears. That's your hollow hold challenge version. If you need something a little extra, you're gonna go ahead and put those arms up by your ears and keep lifting through the feet, squeezing. So what I did just there was a little check to make sure that I do not have a tunnel underneath my back. If I can fit my hand underneath my lower back, we've got a problem. And you might wanna put your hands back under your butt so you can support that lower back. No tunnel underneath your back, all right? You should just be nice and flat right there, keeping that lower back on the ground. It's very important to get that full ab work in, and it's also important to protect your back. Breathe. Stretch it out. Alright, back into it. Here's those tuck ups. And you're coming up from that hollow hold. This time you're trying to bring your upper body up as well as your lower body, pulling those knees to your chest. You can grab those knees there if you want or just give them a little tap. Okay? It's nice to just sit all the way up onto that tailbone. It is a place you need to find your balance in. Okay? So you do have to kind of balance right there on that tailbone for a second. Drop it back down to the hollow hold. And then right here. So we're pulling those knees up. Same thing applies though with the breathing. You wanna breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So you're contracting those abs as you pull everything together for that tuck up. Hold them tight and relax. And run, 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 get your gloves because <laughs> my hands were freezing. It's very cold, it is January, and I'm outside on a roof. So yeah, I'm cold, but we got gloves, so we're good. Go ahead, tuck ups this time, we're good. So this time, same thing as the tuck ups, if you wanna just keep those hands under your waist, that's totally fine, but if you want that extra challenge, reach up for those toes, okay? So you actually bring your upper body up first, and then you wanna bring the lower body there. I was just taking a little little cheat break. If your abs are dying like mine are right now, it is okay to hold onto your legs to give yourself that little second of rest to put the weight into your arms a little bit. It's not really incredibly a relaxing position, but you know, distract yourself. You could be watching Netflix right now, just chilling, you know? All right, stretch it out. If you wanna do a little cobra stretch, that feels really good on your abs, so go ahead and do that. We are almost done. Here come your straddle ups. This time, if you wanna sit all the way up, you can actually reach in between your legs and tap the floor. That's gonna help you get all the way up to the top of that sit up, and just boop, tap the floor right there. Try to bring it back down to that hollow hold without touching your feet to the floor. That's your, that's your challenge. Tell me, tell me how many times you touched your feet to the floor. That'll, that would be interesting for me to know because I think I almost made it through without touching, but I was like, I'm, I'm struggling here, right? Right here, this is where my abs started to cry. Just cry and beg for mercy, but you say, no, this is gonna make me stronger. I am going to be awesome. Woo, last one right here. You can do this. It's time for those rocks, which again, started out nice and sitting up, so really big rocks. But, like I'm gonna show you right here, you can make them a little bit smaller and not sit up quite so high. Okay, that's gonna make it a little bit harder for those lower abs to just stay engaged and you don't have that as long of a rest at the top of that seated seated the top of that seated position okay so just give me those little rocks still tap the hands then the feet okay just like that so if you want to go back to the big big rocks that's okay or you can kind of give yourself that challenge make them a little bit smaller by tapping quickly hands to feet hands to feet you are so close to being done do not quit now keep rocking i know it's burning <gasps> 
You did it! You did all of it. Good freaking job. So proud of you.